go. Colts versus Dolphins, Battle of the Bad. This Sunday, Indianapolis Colts versus Miami Dolphins, Carson Wentz versus Jacoby Brissett. Just kidding about them being completely awful, but they have been going through some growing pains in this first three weeks of the NFL season. There is no denying that. And I'm going to be getting into the fair matchup and breakdown and projection and prediction and everything you want and need to know for this game. But before I do, i got to hear from you guys. Who is your winner? Comment down below. Give me that score prediction. Let me know what you think the outcome is going to be for this Sunday. But like I said... Wentz versus Brissett. Tua is out still with the rib injury. We're going to see Carson Wentz take on Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett playing his old team, the Colts. 692 yards, three touchdowns and one pick for Carson. And 384 yards, zero touchdowns and one pick for Jacoby. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Will the Dolphins improve to 500? Or will the Colts get their first one of the season? I think the Colts are a little better than their record shows, but still... Record is a record at some point in time. The Dolphins, they just can't catch a break with Tua in his injury. That is unfortunate. Looking at the quarterback matchup, if I broke it down, I'm going to give the edge to Wentz. He's lost seven straight, unfortunately, but I think he'll turn it around. I think this Colts team has a chance today to win this, or excuse me, Sunday to win their first game. Even if they don't, I still do believe Carson Wentz is more pro-ready and a better pro than Jacoby Brissett is for sure. Jonathan Taylor versus Miles Gaskin. Jonathan Taylor has not hit that peak level like he was last year by any means, but I still believe in him to be the better back in the backfield for sure, especially over Miles Gaskins, who's a pretty good utility back, but he's nothing amazing. Receiving room, this is a tough one because the Colts have had some injuries. Paris Campbell, T.Y. Hilton, and they're kind of relying on Michael Pittman, Wiley Cox, Jack Doyle, and Zach Pascal to do it all. And then the Dolphins, they got Devontae Parker, Jalen Waddle, Will Fuller came in, Mike Kosicki. So I'd probably lean towards the Dolphins there in the receiving room. Offensive line. Colts have had some injuries, but still they are the better O-line compared to the Dolphins all day. The Dolphins are a bottom five O-line in the league. Defense, this is where things are interesting. Front seven, I easily got to give that one to the Colts. Darius Leonard, DeForest Bunkner. They've had some injuries. Everyone's getting freaking banged up on the Colts. Carson Wentz has had his, Quentin Pay, Quentin Nelson. We know the deal, but still, I believe in their front seven, especially with that captain, Darius Leonard, in there to lead them all over Miami. There's no disrespect to them. I like rookie Jalen Phillips, Jerome Baker, Andrew Van Ginkle, Christian Wilkins, Amanda Logba. The Colts are better. Secondary, probably going to go with Miami. I like Xavier Rhodes and Kenny Moore with the Colts, but still, Xavier and Howard. Byron Jones, Jason McCourty, Eric Rowe, rookie Javon Holland. I like what Miami's doing there. Coach, pick your poison, pick your preference between Brian Flores and Frank Wright. I think they're both pretty solid. It is in Miami. It's at home for the Dolphins. So this is a intriguing game. Who do I think will win is a tough one. We can look at the odds for this game, actually, kind of see what Vegas is telling us. I mean, saved by two and a half. Kind of surprising. Ooh, that's as close as you're going to see some of the games this week. 57%, 44%. Obviously, it's down to decimals. So obviously, that adds up to 101. But still, that's as close of a game you're really going to see. I think I just did a, I think it was, Bengals-Jaguars video. Bengals are favored 75% to 25%. So there are some blowout games favored in this week. And this is a closer one that you knew, than you would typically see as far as split 50 50 odds go if you were to try and find that but i guess technically according to these odds i'm rolling with the underdog on this one i think the colts will get their first win i still think they're banged up and it won't be pretty but i just can't see this colts team going on four i couldn't see them going going three but they had a heck of a schedule a division rival in week three against the tennessee titans who finally found themselves and then against russ and then against the hot matthew stafford rams they played a tough team, you know. They played tough teams. It's not like they had, like the Broncos over there who were 3-0, but got to play the Giants, Jets, and Jaguars the first three weeks. It's the opposite for the Colts. But Miami, still not an easy game. And then the Colts have to move on to Baltimore next week. Still not easy competition, but I think this is better competition than Matt Stafford and that Rams team that they were playing. So I do think the Colts will squeak out a win in this one. I am rolling with the underdog. I'm not really betting any money on it. So the point spread, I guess I would take the Colts. I'll take the two and a half points there. I'm not betting, like I said, so don't take that as serious advice. That's just my two cents. But I believe in Carson Wentz to have a game. Obviously, if he gets hurt again, then I'm not rolling with it. But I just believe he is better than Jacoby Brissett. I believe Jonathan Taylor is going to have some run game going on. I think Dolphins are still going to be in contention with their great secondary and electric receiving room. And Jacoby's not a 
awful quarterback by any means, and then Brian Flores to help just manage it all. I think it'll be a tight game, but I just see the Colts coming on top and getting their first win. They improve to 1-3, and three, and the Dolphins fall to 1-3. and three. This right here, I think the loser, I hate to say, is going to be officially eliminated from the playoffs because this is only going to be 4 of 13 more games to go. But a 1-3 and three start for the Dolphins to fall way behind the Bills isn't going to be looking good. They were never really going to be in the contender for the AFC East, in my, AFC East, in my opinion, anyways. But just falling to 1-3... and three, Good luck making a run at the playoffs with that one. You got the Chargers, the Raiders, the Broncos, the Chiefs, the Browns, the Ravens, the Bills, the Titans, all trying to be playoff teams as well. Good luck with that. And same goes for the Colts. We fall to 0-4. Chances of chasing that division are going to be very, very tough. If you ask me, I still think if they've and one and three is nothing amazing by any means for the Colts, but I just think one of these teams really need to turn it around. Colts getting their first win or Miami bumping it back up to 500 to keep their playoff hopes alive. Again, I'm not labeling them as completely labeled, but I am labeling it their path to get to the postseason for the loser of this team probably five times harder. So every win does count, but I got the Colts getting the win in this one, finally getting a W on their record book. Still a lot more to go for either of these teams, no matter the outcome, but still a win is a win. And I got the Colts winning this one. I would say my score prediction is... I'm going to say 27 to 17 Indianapolis Colts. I still think it'll be a closer game. It might be closer than that, but that's what I said, so I'll stick with it. That's just came to my mind. 27 17, Carson Wentz and Indianapolis Colts get their first win over Jacoby Brissett, his old team, and the Miami Dolphins. We'll see how it goes, though. Let me know what your score prediction is, guys. Like I said, comment down below. Do you think it's a shootout, a blowout, a one score game, whatever it is? Comment down below and see how you match up against mine. And also comment down below an opinion or take, or a person, or a player, whatever it is that I didn't mention or you want me to talk about, always here to talk about it in the comment section if I missed it here. As always, and of course, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. Two in the morning.